Hey everyone, Ryan Murphy here with Marks in Time Photography and it's November already. Every November, Marks in Time, we always try to do something to give back to the community. This year, we are going to be partnering with Jackson Street Youth Shelter and Family Building Blocks. So for the entire month of November, make sure you check the box when you're ordering your photos if you want us to donate $10 to Jackson Street Youth Shelter or $10 to Family Building Blocks. If you're ordering by phone or by text, our route manager, Amanda, will ask you who you'd like to donate your $10 to. As many of you know, lots of events have been canceled and a lot of charities are really struggling with canceled events and their fundraisers canceled. And this is a great time if you have the ability to really find a local charity, give them $10, $50, whatever it is. There's so much great work in our community that these charities do. And for a little bit more on what Jackson Street Youth Shelter does, here's Hannah Miller. I'm Hannah Miller. I'm the development director at Jackson Street. At Jackson Street, we, we believe that every young person deserves safe housing, positive adult role models, and opportunities to rise above challenging situations. We do that by providing 24-7 crisis housing for young people who have run away from home or been kicked out of their home for any number of reasons. We work through family media mediation and, and reunification whenever possible. Outreach and prevention halts youth homelessness, ideally before it begins, or is a way that young people can leave the streets. And long-term housing for 18 to 20 year olds ensures self-sufficiency for the long-term. We know from national studies that one in 30 teens will experience one some kind of of homelessness in a given year. We do see that reflected locally as well with number reports from the school districts and point in time counts. Um, hundreds of young people in our community that are every day affected by homelessness. So this is the issue that we're working to solve. We do that in a number of ways. Uh, through our 24-7 shelters, which provide, again, that state safety, stability, well-being, um, immediate relief for young people to leave the streets, and then working through a family reunification process. We also have prevention and outreach services that are connecting with youth who are on the streets, building trust and relationship, giving snack packs and water bottles, and making sure they know who they can come to when it's time to end that experience of homelessness and, and move on to something new and different and better. We also have our Next Steps program, which is serving 18 to 20 year olds. Again, working um, towards self-sufficiency. I think it's important to know that every young person has a different story. What connects all the young people that we see um, in every level of our service is trauma. And there is also a resiliency component there as well. And so our staff are paid trained professionals who are working with youth in crisis um, towards a brighter future. A great way to get further involved is to connect with us further on social media. Um, November is National Runaway Prevention Month, so there will be many opportunities to learn more about issues affecting local youth and their experiences of homelessness, and to do things like attend our virtual vigil on November 17th. We're gonna do quick how, um, live stream house tours and a number of other ways that you can help raise awareness and get further involved um, in, in ending youth homelessness. We of course always need um, monetary donations so your support on that front is always appreciated. <laughs>